today to share with you one of our favorite recipes. We are making pizza. One of the kids' favorites. I love it. But I love it too. So join us as we challenge you to get healthy, get active, and to get cooking. Yeah. As you know, there are many different kinds of pizza. But today I'm going to teach you a way to make a healthy and still delicious pizza that your whole family can enjoy. So to show you how simple it is to make this pizza, we got some, uh, we got a few ingredients here, and uh, I'm going to show you how to make a dough for your pizza. Kids can help along the way, like Michaela will be helping us today with chopping. I'm going to put her in a charge of garlic. Does that sound good? Yes. All right. I'm going to start with approximately two cups of whole wheat flour. You can use white, but whole wheat is much healthier. Along with your whole wheat flour, you will add about a tablespoon of uh, dry yeast. And just to give you a quick tip on dry yeast, you can buy, buy dry yeast in a larger packages and just keep them in your freezer. That way you can save money. So a couple or a little bit more and about a tablespoon of sugar. You can just put it directly in your dough and some salt. Not too much because we'll have some salt in uh, turkey and in our sauce, so we don't want to overdo it on the salt. And then just add some warm water to it. These measurements will be enough to make two medium-sized thick crust pizza or two large thin crust pizzas. The magic of including kids in cooking is that you get a chance to introduce different foods to them. And in this case, as you see what Michaela is doing here, she's chopping some garlic. And this is how I taught my kids how to eat garlic. So I encourage you to involve your kids in cooking because this, that's a wonderful way to um, get your kids to try different foods. There's a one more ingredient that I want to add to my dough while it's still soft. And that's a flax seed. Now just knead the flax into the dough until it's evenly mixed in. So you can buy it ground or in a whole seed form. You can just grind it yourself. I choose to grind it myself because I preserve the nutritional value and I will um, grind a dish like this and store it in a fridge and use it um, in just about um, all, any recipe. Okay, we have our dough ready and we're gonna let it sit and rest just for a little bit. Michaela, how are you doing over there? Good. Can I smell your hands? Ah, I love it. It smells so good. All right. We're going to let our dough rest. And another thing uh, that's good about making pizza is that you can incorporate all kinds of food that you have uh, in your kitchen. And um, in our case, I have some leftover turkey. And this is a sliced turkey, but it's a good quality, lean. And I have some. Uh, leftover spaghetti sauce and in this case we are using spaghetti sauce versus uh, pizza sauce and also I have some vegetables that I will be um, cooking later and show you that you can incorporate vegetables as well in your pizza and uh, when you have mozzarella on the top of that or any kind of good cheese kids will eat it and if they help you make it that's just another plus it's because they did it they will eat it some of you might be concerned and scared to hand your child a knife but it is a good idea to start them with a training knife and to give them something that it's soft to cut through that way they will get uh, some practice and uh, they will learn how to use a knife later on Mickey what's your favorite thing about making pizza my favorite thing about pizza is helping and cutting and eating it and decorating it because the pizzas look good and they taste good and what's your favorite topping? My favorite topping, um, what are these going on me? Olives. Olives and tomato sauce and cheese. Okay, here we got our dough. Beautiful, dark, full of whole wheat flour and flax seed. I'm going to give, make you your own pizza so you can decorate your own pizza the way you want. 
Okay, our dough looks pretty good. It looks ready. We don't want to let it rise uh, too much because it will have a chance to rise on the baking pan. It looks beautiful. It's uh, rich with uh, whole wheat flour and with flex seed. Okay, we will add some spaghetti sauce and some vegetables on the top of that, and cheese, some turkey for protein. It's going to make a wonderful, wonderful food for kids. As you see, this is um, it's a good thing. Kid is involved. She's doing something with me. She doesn't necessarily have to cook herself, but she's participating. She's a part of it. She sees what I'm doing. She's experiencing. She's smelling the food. And this is all an important process of teaching kids about cooking. Another wonderful thing about this time is that you have the opportunity to touch base with your children and stay connected and aware of what is happening in their lives. Mommy, is this enough olives? Depends how much you like it. Okay. So our first dough is ready. Would you hold this for me, Mickey, please? Okay. All right. We need a little bit of oil in there. All right. We got a little bit of olive oil here. We don't want our pizza to stick to, right? Mm -mm. And guess what? You're going to have a chance to design your own pizza. Uh-huh. All right, you ready? Would you put it down for me, please? We got a nice thin crust. Oh, yummy. It's going to be a good one. Can I please do it? Yes. But can you help me with this? Yes. Okay, let's move your olives away, out of the way. Okay. Here we go. Yay. You can use half of this and leave the other half for me, for my pizza. Okay. Would that be good? Yes. Okay. While well, Michaela's doing, putting a, a spaghetti sauce on her pizza, I'm going to work on our second dough. It's already nice and soft. And um, while you shop for your spaghetti sauce or for your pizza sauce, take a peek at the sugar content and make sure it's not too high. Also, check for corn syrup, as some companies like to use it to add sweetness. Our dough is performing beautifully. It's stretching nicely, it's very thin, and we like to thin pizza, thin crust. But if you like your pizza a little bit thicker, all you need to do is just to make a little bit bigger batch of a dough and leave your dough a little bit thicker. I already got some oil on this pan, and now I'm ready to go with my, with my pizza. It's going to be interesting to find out who comes up with a funner recipe. For combination, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know mine will have a lot of garlic. Mine won't have any. None? Just kidding. Well, I love garlic because it ha it's so good for my body. This looks so good. So, Mickey, what are you going to put on your pizza? Olives. Olives? Is that your favorite? Yeah. All right. What are you going to put on your pizza? You want me to show you? Watch. Ta-da! Oh! Woohoo! I'm going to put some green stuff, and some olives, and some garlic, and some meat, and some more cheese, and then I'm going to put some of this good smelling... Oh, anyway, I'll keep it for myself. Mommy, I'm going to put half of um, turkey uh, on my pizza. Or do you mean... A turkey on half of your pizza. Yes. Or you mean a half a turkey? Yes. Should we go get the half a turkey? Yes. Yes. Okay. Here, you can you can do it your way. All right. And then I'll share some turkey with you too. I'll put some turkey on all of my pizza. Can you hold the plate? Is it heavy for you? Mm -mm. This is good stuff. Okay. And do you know what else I got here, Mickey? I got broccoli. And I'm not sure if I want to share. I'm not using it. You Good for you because I'm the one who's going to get very healthy. Watch. Oh, look how pretty this looks. Oh. Well, I'm going to use some olives on mine. Oh, I still think mine will look so colorful. Look at how pretty this is. Oh, my goodness. Well, I sure want to get healthy. Olives are healthy, too. 
it's good to let kids be creative in their own way although I wish she would be having a little bit of broccoli tonight I will still let her make her own pizza and design it the way she wants it guess how much garlic I'm putting on it spread it out mm -hmm. okay I'm taking all the garlic okay that's good garlic is good I'm doing some same put a little bit of garlic on mine and I'm wondering could I borrow some olives from you Shh. I might give you a few trees no. No? But you can borrow my olives. Here, I'll use this whole ones. Those are my olives, but I'm letting you borrow them. Thank you. All right, here we go. And we still have some cheese. Can we share? Can we split? Be fair? Mm -hmm. All right. Here's your half. All right, and you use your half the way you want it. Now look what else I got over here. I got some basil that I'm willing to share. My pizza is looking delicious. This garlic will really pull it together. Cheese, there's lots of mozzarella. All right. And here, on the, on the end, I'm gonna put some basil. Ta-da! I'm done. I'm done. You're done too? Yeah. Oh, with a big mess. <laughs> oh, that's another thing you gotta sacrifice. When you work with kids, you're going to end up with a mess, but you're also going to end up with having a lots of, lots of fun. It feels warm. It feels nice. Okay. You go to the side and help me out slide it in. Okay. Here comes mine. Nice and green. And um, I have my oven set up for on 375 and we're going to cook pizza for about 20 minutes. We have a very thin crust, if you remember, and in case that you have a thicker crust, you might take about 25 to 30 minutes to cook your pizza. I think our pizzas are ready, so let's take a look and make sure. Oh, yes, they are. They look very good. Very good. Michaela's pizzas turn out very good. And so does mine. Because mine has a lot more stuffing. I, I will leave mine for another five minutes in the oven. As mine is cooking a little longer, I'm going to cut Michaela's and I'm going to let Mickey set up a table for dinner. You have to agree with me, this pizza, although it doesn't have any vegetables besides a little bit of garlic and some olives on it, it's still a much healthier version than what you can get in the store. And it only took us 15 minutes to prepare it and another 20 minutes to cook it and here we go. So Mickey, would you come over here and take the pizza to the table? Okay. Be careful, it's nice and hot. Okay, here are your pads. Okay. Very good. Hug it with your tongue. I'm going to show you how. There you go. Put that underneath. Very good. Keep it away from you. I think my pizza is ready as well. It sure is. Okay. Here we go. We are done with cooking. And now it's time for a family time. Enjoy, guys. And remember, if you help them make it, they will eat it. Thank you for joining us on Cooking and Kids. And until next time, remember, get healthy, get active, and get cooking.